Hello everyone, Professor Lohit here. Today you see the next method of the structure evaluation that is falling weight diffractometer. Before getting into the falling weight diffract, let's see the comparison or how the difference Benkel beam diffractometer and falling weight diffractometer are different. So Benkel beam has the, been amongst the earliest equipment used in the measuring deflection, no doubt about it, it's the oldest one. And in this technique, a static load is applied to the pavement surface and the rebound deflections are measured here okay because the load of loaded truck has been static there okay from that whatever the deflection is coming from the pavement it is absorbed and that is measured here but in case of the falling weight deflectometer the measure of the deflection the static load does not stimulate the loading conditions produce, produced in the pavement by the moving vehicle and this method is labor intense and the time consuming. Here, generally the impulse load is applied on the pavement surface by the means of falling weight. Okay, let's see further. We go because for your examinations is only the theory part, we go it quickly with the images and the procedure. So here it is a principle how it works. The working principle of the falling weight deflectometer is the mass of weight is dropped from a predetermined height, some height on the series of springs okay placed on the top of the loading plate the corresponding peak load and the peak vertical surface deflections at the time at the different radial locations are measured here we by seeing the image you can get to know this is the falling weight and here the spring you find the plate here so here you have the geophones clear or you can call it as a transudor velocity Transduce. The falling weight is fall, fall on the plate with the having the springs here. This is a loading plate. So whatever the velocity is absorbed from the this all deflection sensors. Clear? This is how it looks. See, here is the weight is allowed to fall on the plate, and this is towed to the any kind of vehicle. It got battery box, fuse box here. Okay, motherboard to calculate the to read all the velocities from the geophones, load cell. The geophones we can find it for every equidistance you have the geophones to observe the velocity. This is the distance measuring instrument, battery inverter. Okay, this calibration is not required for us. So let's see the procedure. This is how the steps you are going to measure the deflection. First, the mark the test point on the pavement. Next is raise the mass to the a predetermined height. Okay, to required for the producing a target load of how much 40 kN then the, raise the mass and drop it record the load and the deflection data into the computer through the data acquisition system then record air and payment temperature at hourly interval measure the payment temperature by drilling the holes of the 40 mm depth into a payment surfaces okay then deflection measure should not be made when the pavement temperature is what more than 45 degree centigrade this is how you to follow this is the how they test at a particular point c clear so we'll in short i will brief you here the so following what we have wd that is falling weight deflectometer and impulsive loading is applied here on the pavement surface by the means of falling weight and the deflected shape of the pavement surface is recorded by using the velocity transducers or the geophones placed at the uh, different radial distances from the center of the falling weight. So the different magnitude of the falling weight are dropped from the different heights of the fall. As you can see here, the velocity sensors are used to collect and store the surface deflection data. Okay, then the values of the pavement layer thickness like you can you find it by the Poisson's ratios and etc. Feed in the feed in and the values of the elastic model of the different payment layer 
of elastic existing payment and determined by the what using the back calculation you can do that the effective modulus of the existing payment is made use of the excess of the structural condition what you have there and estimate the how much the overlay thickness required to provide the uh, desired service life of the payment clear i will stop here thank you for your patience hearing